You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. All week we'll be profiling UK student athletes who graduated from college over the weekend. Our Maggie Davis sat down with Yusef Corker to talk about his journey toward his degree and how his family has helped him along the way. Yusuf, graduation is coming up. Congratulations. What is your degree? Um, I, I'm getting my degree in economics. And what made you decide that economics was the path for you? Well, my dad was an economics major, so I just wanted to kind of be just like him. So I, de I decided to follow his footsteps. I think it's so cool when people decide they want to do the same thing as their parents. I grew up and was like, oh my gosh, I don't think I could do anything <laughs> close to what my parents do. Mm -hmm. But I think it's really interesting when people see their, their mom or their dad or whoever succeed in a job and decide that that's the path for you. What, how has that impacted your all's relationship that you grew up wanting to be? like your dad? Well, my father's always been good. I mean, we always talked about a lot about stuff, some stuff about economics. I mean, sometimes we'll go downstairs and he'll just talk to me about inflation rate or just about uh, market economics and stuff like that, or just uh, labor economics. And it kind of just kind of fell in love with it, just talking to him. And that's how I kind of knew what I wanted to do. Right. I mean, inflation rate, like that's a normal breakfast time conversation, <laughs> watching Sports Center and talking about inflation. That's mm -hmm. awesome. <laughs> and now, of course, you are a father yourself. Uh -huh. How has that impacted your, your growth and your journey as a student athlete here at UK? Well, at first it was pretty tough, but thanks to my wife, I just got uh, married a couple months ago and she's really been doing a good job helping me out, make sure I stay on track, uh, doing a good job of us taking care of Mira. She's at daycare right now, so kind of when she's at daycare, we keep the house clean, house strained up, but you know, it's, it was pretty tough, rough at first, but once we got into like a schedule routine, it was pretty easy. Right, I mean, it's a lot to manage. You're one of the stars, one of the leaders on this UK football team. You're graduating, you're a husband, you're a father. How have you been able to manage all of that? Well, like I said, my wife's been doing a good job, Taryn, uh, just keeping me in check, keeping me balanced, just making sure I don't forget anything, you know, just making sure like, if she tells me to tackle the trash or you need to do this, don't forget this assignment. Just even if she quizzed me on plays like what's week three or uh, what's uh, okay angle strong three. It's like, you sure you know what you're doing? What is this person doing? So <laughs> she keeps me uh, in a straight line on the narrow path to make sure that I stay on top of things. I haven't met her, but I like her. I want to <laughs> hang out with her. She sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your daughter. What is she like? A lot of energy now. 18 months, she'll say a couple words, you no know, running around, make a, a lot of mess in the house. Uh, loves going outside, loves playing with bubbles. I mean, just loves being around us. Uh, not too comfortable around other people, but she, she just loves saying mama, dad, dad, you know, her favorite word right now is juice. <laughs> Uh, every time she comes home for daycare, she goes straight to the snack closet and we, <laughs> and we get her like some yogurt and stuff. But yeah, just a lot of energy. Straight to the snack closet. That is my kind of girl. I like it. Hopefully, I'm assuming that she'll be able to come to football games this fall. Mm -hmm. She well, came to a couple. Of, she came to one game last year. I think it was the uh, when we played North Carolina State. She came to that one. So but that was a good one to go to. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, she comes to a couple more this year for my last season. What's it like? when you're out there on the field playing and you know that your wife and your daughter are in the stands cheering you on? Well, it means a lot to me just, just for them supporting me and loving me. So every time I make a play, I always try to point at them or look at them in the stands. I always try to find what they are. So when I make a play, like, did you see that? And I try to point at them or something to let them know that, you know, that I notice that they're there and they're supporting me. So now backing up just a little bit to graduation, when you picture yourself walking across that stage, what do you think that moment's going to be like and, and what will it mean to you? It'll mean a lot to me. I mean, very emotional. Uh, you know, my grad, and my, I mean, my dad and my mom also graduated from college. So just keeping that tradition going in my family will mean a lot. Do you have any other messages you'd like to give to the BBN as you get closer to this graduation date? Not a really message so far. Just thanks for supporting me. Thanks for supporting uh, everybody on this football team. And I hope you continue to support us. Lovely family there. All right, drip, swag, fit. We're talking clothes next. You're gonna love this look from a future wildcat. 